Okay, so what's the energy for Divine Feminine? What's the energy coming towards Divine Feminine that they need to be aware of? Show me the energy coming towards Divine Feminine that they may not be aware of that they need to be aware of. Holy Spirit, show me the energy coming towards Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. It may trigger you, but it may or may not resonate with you. If it's not you, it could be somebody that's close to you. It could be somebody who you recently was coming towards you. It could be someone who you just walked away from, who you detached from. It could be a family member. It could be a co-worker. It could be a supervisor. It could be just a karmic energy. Teach came out in reverse. This was so you're not teaching. You're not teaching. Am I not teaching, Holy Spirit? I'm not teaching. This thing came out three times. Someone is not teaching divine feminine. This is not a challenge for you. This is not challenging times for you. It gets cold in this bathroom. I'm divine feminine. I am open for personal um, personal readings. So if you want to book a personal reading, all you have to do is inbox me at Pink Scorpion Intuitive Readings. Okay, Pink Scorpion. My email is pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com. Okay. And don't forget, Divine Feminine, to hit that thumbs up to energetically donate to my channel. So what is it? Why does Divine Feminine feel like them teaching is a challenge? Because it's something you're refusing to see. It's something there that you're refusing to see. Okay? <laughs> you refuse to see that this is not a challenge because you're a natural born leader. Okay? So this is not a challenge for you. You know how to protect yourself spiritually. So now it's time for you to teach others how to protect themselves spiritually. Okay? Okay, Spirit, so what's the message? What's the message for Divine Feminine? What's the message for Divine Feminine? Base chakra. You're not opening up. Spirit is saying to share the love. Open up and share the love. This is not a challenge for you. Heart chakra. Dedicated effort. Balance. Okay. The center, everything is surrounding you, not opening up, divine feminine. You're not teaching people. This again, you may want to check out the other video where it said you're not teaching what you're supposed to be. This is the same energy, divine feminine. And you see me shuffling and pulling the cards. So you're supposed to be teaching people how to get grounded. You're supposed to be teaching people how to love themselves, how to love others, how to share the love. But see, you can't teach them if you're not doing it yourself. So some of you, you know, you are supposed to be teaching about the chakras. And this is why, this is why my readings has changed. I've got the message spirit, I know. See, what I've been doing when I made this channel, it, it was it's a healing channel. But then I got to listening to the readers I was listening to. I got to... Um, you know, I'm following other readers and trying to make more people come to my channel by saying the same stuff, you know, on the subjects, the way they read. And it's not, that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. I ain't supposed to be on here talking about the karmics like that. I'm supposed to be telling you how to heal from the shit that the karmics did. Okay. So... 
maybe some of you, this is why you're not teaching because you dealt with a lot of karmic activities and it was a challenge for you. It made you not want to open up to the world, okay? But you have to put in the, de the, the, the dedicated effort. Spirit wants you to open up and bring your gifts, share your gifts, okay? And this will bring you, you balance into your relationship because once you, you learn how to balance yourself, how to balance this gift that you have, you yourself will be able to open up to your person, okay? If you're dealing with the karmic energy, even if you're dealing with the uh, divine energy, you'll still be able to open up. But I feel like, you know, most of us divine energies, we end, we, we end up with karmics. Not to be mean, not to, to be acting funny. We end up with karmics because karmics are energies that sent to us to destroy us. You understand? They were sent to destroy us. Okay? So if you, if you already know about healing your chakras, um, about the metaphysical life, then this is not a challenge for you. Okay? This is not a challenging time for you. But see, you're refusing to see that. You refuse to see. This ain't a challenge for you. Both of these came in reverse. It's not a challenge. <coughs> so, you know, like some readers, when they read, they don't like to read reversals. But the reason I read reversals, because you want this to be upright? You want to be having challenging times? Or do, would you rather it come out and say you're not having challenging times? Or you were having challenging times, but you're not anymore. This is why I read reversals, okay? The open up is in reverse. You're not opening up. You're not teaching. Okay? And see... What I what I see, I see some of you, you have an energy around you that you need to protect, okay? Heal on the bottom of the deck. You're supposed to be healing. Maybe some of you feel like you're a healer, but you're not a teacher, okay? Choose your battles in reverse. And Sean is here again. These are, these are the same cards and I shuffled this deck. Only thing that didn't come out in the last read was the heart chakra. I mean, the um, your base chakra, your root chakra. Unbalanced. Okay. And I hear, I see here where some of you divine feminists, you're putting that, you, you, you're, you're trying to you know, put a dedicated effort into something, but you feel like it's a challenge. It's not. Some of you are artists. Some of you are trying to put a dedicated effort into your relationship. Some of you want your the person you wish you want to shine with them. And maybe sometime, Divine Feminine, I hate to say it, they're they uh you shining and their their light is dimmed or they're they're kind of um how could I say it? They they need a little buffing. They need a little polishing up or something to shine. But you already polished up and shine. You're shiny. See the people you're dealing with. That's how rough they make it look. Even look at the 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 face on the shield. This shield, the the face, the eyes is closed because. This thing, no, you don't need it. Like, mm -hmm, I'll just sleep. Um, because the divine energy really don't need me. If you really look at it, what is this shielding? Um, if this is a masculine here, all I'm shielding is, is, is his vital organs. What about his dick? What about his legs? What about his head? That, that means they have divine protection. And I'm just here just for the face of it. Okay? I'm just here to help them face their challenges. That's why my face is here. Face your challenges. This is not a challenge for you, Divine Feminine. Okay? But you refuse to see that. But you need to open your third eye. And you see how this third eye right here 
is a shield, it's a protection, it's a helmet. Okay, you need to protect your third eye. You need to teach people how to protect their third eye, how to open up their third eye. You need to teach how to share the love. Maybe some of you are sharing the love and it's just not a lot. Maybe your heart has been broken. But you see that little beam of light coming through? It's, it's something in there. Something I think magnificent is in there that you need to share. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Spirit, what's the next message for the bond family? Show me the next message for the divine feminine. What's coming towards some of my divine feminine energies? Divine feminine, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Rest and reconsider. Okay, I see a lot of purple cards out here. And I see a lot of black cards. The purple represents your crown chakra. And it can represent your third eye. Okay. You need to get an amethyst. This is a piece of amethyst. Okay. Yeah, look faded. But it's a piece of real amethyst. This is the raw. This is what you some of you need, or you can get a you can get an amethyst tower. Just get an amethyst. It could be a tower. It could be it could be rough. It can be the rough or the raw. It could be the tumble. But you need to get a amethyst. And I say that because this challenging time. You need to open up your third eye, get an amethyst, so you will understand and know that this is not a challenge for you. This purple here, you need this amethyst also to let you know that you your, your battles that you're choosing, you really don't need to choose a battle because this is not a battle for you, okay? Spirit wants you to rest and reconsider. Get that purple crystal, okay? You see this? Okay, it's purple. Purple tower. Maybe somebody's having a tower moment. But in the end, it's like divine feminine. You've, you've put in a lot of dedicated effort into a situation or into a person. Maybe if it's not you refusing to see, maybe... The person you're dealing with is refusing to see something. Maybe the person you're dealing with needs to open up. Maybe the person that you're dealing with could be the one who has um, just given a little bit of love. Share the love. And this is with the person, a partner. I never paid attention to the people in the shadows back there. That's a man and a woman. Okay. Now this could also mean that your person is not not um, ready to settle down. They could be having a lot of many options or, you know, swinging, slanging, and they only giving you a little bit of their heart. That heart is small, but it does have some sort of spark to it. Something is in it. I had to go and I had to go get my crystal ball. I had it in storage. I had my pyrite in storage. And I was like, these are my two, like one of my favorite stones when I do my readings. And with this not being here, I was like, it, it made me feel like my views were being blocked. So I went across the street and I got me another pyrite. But this, this is my overall lovely heart-shaped pyrite that has the power was bringing all of you to my channel and it's been in storage. So I had to sage it up and bring it out and 
I'm holding on to my crystal for a minute. You hold the crystal ball and, and you get your messages. Okay. So, either you, either you or the person you're dealing with is refusing to see that you're supposed to be teaching or you refuse to see that you're supposed to be teaching and you're not. Okay. And with the rest and reconsider, we're going to find out what's the energy surrounding this rest and reconsidering. Okay. Okay, Spirit, show me the energy surrounding this rest and reconsider. Darkest fears, joy and stability in reverse. Win or lose in reverse. Strengthening bonds in reverse. This is like the same. This is so freaking weird. Now you see me sitting here shuffling these cards. And these are the exact same cards that came out in the last two readings. So this is this is confirmation. Someone is making you feel like you're not. You shouldn't have joy. You shouldn't be stable. Yeah, up here is to just breathe. Change your focus. You're not going with the flow trying to rebuild something. Maybe some of you, your darkest fears is to rebuild something. The spirit is saying to just breathe and relax. And, you know, may, it may not be time for you to be strengthening bonds. It's, it may be time for you to change your focus to yourself. It's time for you to shine. Now, if you tried to get this person to shine with you and they didn't want to shine, they don't want to go with the flow, work on yourself. Heal yourself. Okay, some of you may need to speak out about that or maybe you need to see it because this blue is out here and that's your third eye and your throat chakra. Okay, you need to get a, 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 a black obsidian. I see blossom out here, shine, flow, rebuild. Heal. Blossom. Balance. Shine. You see these cards have the black rim around them, right? See the black black uh, border? So to me, when when since I studied the color of psychology, these cards have the colors of the chakras in. And it's a lot of black out here where a lot of you need to get healed. See this black? You need to heal. You need to get a black obsidian. Black tourmaline. Black tourmalina. Or black onyx. Okay. To remove negative energies that's been coming towards you. Okay. It's time for you to shine. You need to heal yourself. Okay. <clears throat> it's time for you to find balance. Once you heal yourself and you get these, these stones and start aligning your energies and everything, then you will you will heal. Okay? You will blossom. And once you heal, you'll start to rebuild your life. But as long as your base, as long as your base chakra, your root chakra, and your heart chakra ain't healed. You, you will need to keep continue trying to balance yourself. Continue to balance. It's an everyday thing that you have to do at least once a week. You have to, to, to align your chakras and all of that. Yeah, because find balance is in reverse. Okay, so some of you are balanced and some of you are trying to find balance. Okay, some of you may feel like you're going through karma. Some of you may feel like the person you're dealing with is going through karma. But you need to change your focus on that and focus on yourself. Okay. Focus on balancing yourself out. Focus on shining. Focus on healing. Focus on blossoming. Focus on rebuilding yourself. Okay. Focus on getting your, your, your life and your feet grounded. Planet ground. Planet on the ground. Okay. And focus on, on your heart. Your heart chakra. Because, see, people have heart attacks behind broken hearts, right? 
So you want to get a you want to get a green adventuring to pull a confirmation. You want a green adventuring to pull that hurt away from you, to draw it away. That green adventuring will um, take in the negative energy that you're that's coming towards you. It'll block it. Look up what a green adventuring and has something to do with your heart chakra. Okay, maybe you should just wear the color green. Wear green, and green also represents gold. Spirit is saying go. Go forth. You have joy and stability here, but you feel like you don't. You feel like, oh, well, it's a win situation. Ah, fuck it. Some of you may feel like you're stabbed in the heart by a particular person. And you may feel like you wasn't protected. This this stab in the heart, you felt like it, it, it hurt real bad, but it, you wasn't protected. But like I said right here, this is not a challenge. They may have hurt your heart. But you can get over that shit. You, you don't have to be sitting around crying every day. What you can do is get up. Um, either show some love to yourself. Show some love to your children. Your family. Stop focusing on, on your person. Okay. Rest and give a rest on that. Just breathe. Stop focusing on them. Focus on yourself. Okay. Heal yourself. Because once you heal yourself... Then when, no matter no matter what this person is trying to throw at you, it won't hurt. You'll be healed. Okay? The bandage done healed and all of that. And it'll be, it, it, you won't even see the scar. Don't let this person leave a scar on your life. Okay? You heal. You let it bleed. You let it hurt. I forgot the rest. Let it heal. Let it bleed. Let it hurt. Let it heal. And then let it go. Okay? And that's what you need to do. So I'm going to stop right here, Divine Feminine. Just rest and reconsider. Reconsider. Take a deep breath. Maybe some of you just need to go. I release all the anxiety, all the stress. I release it to the universe. Okay? And I'm claiming abundance and wealth. I'm claiming that abundance. Okay? You breathe in what you want and you spit out what you don't. Okay? I, did, I, I guess that's the best way I can see it too. Take a spiritual bath. Heal yourself. Focus on healing. Focus on opening up your third eye so you can see when somebody is trying to come to you with some bullshit. So you will be able to see when somebody is trying to slow you down. So you will be able to see if somebody really loves you or if they're trying to use you. You will be able to see if somebody is cheating on you. You will be able to see through the bullshit. Get you a, a, a amethyst. Get you a um, a green adventuring and a black obsidian. Okay, peace out.